Sometimes, each of us is going along just as happy as could be. Even though there's different things happening in our lives, oh, like these beans, for instance. There's, there's a, a, a little bean that, that might be a nice thing that happened. Oh, it was a sunny day. And here's another bean that might be something nice. It, I, I rode my bike. And another bean, oh, we had the best, we had my favorite thing for dinner. But there are other things that happen that are kind of sad. Oh, my dog is sick. The roof is leaking. The car broke down. And so all of these things make up all of these situations in our lives. And most of the time, we can be happy. And we just sit right there on top of all of these things that are happening, and we smile away, and we deal with everything, and everything is fine. But sometimes, there's so much going on that we become very sad. It might be someone who you love who is feeling very, very sad. Now, when someone feels overwhelmed, Pretty soon, it seems like all of those things, the good things and the sad things, bury that person. They can hardly stand it. And then more stuff happens. And they lose sight of all the wonderful things in the world. They can't smile. They need someone to give them a smile, to give them some encouragement. If it's someone you love, it could be just saying, I love you. Is there anything I can do to help? And guess what happens? You become the hero. You've helped this person to, to deal with everything that's going on just by telling them, I love you. Can I help you? Watch what happens. I love you. May I help you? And it shakes up their world. <gasps> and up they come and they're able to deal with all of these things again. You were there to say, I love you. May I help you? And you make their world a little bit better. Goodbye, goodbye to you and you and you. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you very soon. I'll see you next time.